Welcome to this podcast on working with SAS dictionary tables presented by Amadeus Software. My name is Elena Muriel and I work for Amadeus, who are experts in SAS and providers of consultancy, support and training for SAS software. This presentation will discuss what are SAS dictionary tables, how can we access them and how to use them in our SAS programs. SAS dictionary tables are read-only tables available within the ProcSQL procedure. The same tables are also available to the data step environment through SAS views, which are stored under the SAS help library. Dictionary tables contain key information about our SAS session running, including assigned libraries, datasets and views, SAS system options and external files assigned. It basically gives us a description of our system. There are multiple dictionary tables available and depending on how you access them, the name will be different. The table below includes a list of the most used ones with the name as referred in SQL, SAS help and a brief description of what information they contain. For example, the columns table can be very useful when we need to track down common columns in our environment. This can be used to make sure that the format of all of our date columns is the same across our datasets. The dictionary table is also a useful one as it contains the names of all of the SAS dictionary tables available. Members and table give us more description about items stored under libraries, including SAS datasets. In recent versions of SAS, new dictionary tables have been introduced. This includes a dictionary table for information maps. But full details can always be found under available SAS documentation. From within ProcSQL, we can access the tables by simply referencing them. This is done by placing the dictionary library name, followed by the name of the table to access. Notice that the dictionary library is automatically assigned by the system and does not need a lib name statement prior to its use. But let's have a look at a couple of examples. We can see the characteristics of a dictionary table by describing its structure. Notice that in this example we want to examine the columns table and therefore we use the notation dictionary.columns. The describe statement will write messages to the log window containing column names, types and descriptions. And we can see in the results produced the structure of this table and the information it will contain. We can exploit the contents of these tables to, for example, create a report that displays all of those datasets that contain a column named date and the format that it's currently using. I can use my standard ProcSQL code and treat the dictionary table as if it was another dataset for my environment. The code will take a small amount of time to execute as SAS needs to go and open the properties of each table in each library and query it for its relevant information. But the results can be very useful when we are trying to report on our used environment. As there are quite a few dictionary tables, it's always useful to know how to obtain their names. The dictionary table contains a stat, and in this example, we can see how easy it is to obtain a full list of what it is available to me. Simply select the different values found under the mem name column of this table to give you the full list. Dictionary tables are also available from within the data step environment and other SAS procedures by using the defined views in the SAS help library. Access through the SAS help library is not as efficient as using the ProcSQL tables because essentially the views need to access the SQL tables. Also, SQL performs some code optimization prior to its execution, and this is lost when accessing them from the SAS help library. The SAS help views are listed in the SAS Explorer window 
and you can simply access them by selecting the icon. You can select libraries, go into SAS help, display the details, and finally scroll down to the bottom of that screen in order to see the views that have been created. Similarly to a previous example, you can try to produce a listing of all the columns that are named date and the format they have associated by using the B column SAS help view. The results produced will be the same as with using ProcSQL, but remember that performance will be a bit worse. SAS dictionary tables are an extremely useful resource for any SAS programmer. They are available to all through two different areas, as tables in ProcSQL and views in the SAS help library. Remember that if you have efficiency concerns, ProcSQL will always outperform SAS help because of its internal optimization and the fact that direct access to the table is provided instead of creating a view. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Amadeus Software podcast. We hope you found it useful. Please make sure to check out the rest of this podcast series via our website.